Well, we've got off to quite a decent start. We're still unbeaten, and uh, and we're we're actually in the playoffs at the moment. I don't think that's where we're going to be at the end of the season, but we've we've certainly brought the momentum of last season into it. Players seem to be in good form. I don't quite know my best eleven just yet, and I think that's the only problem that we've got. Um, I'm still looking to strengthen a little bit. We've brought in a couple of signings, and I'm hoping to introduce you to them in a minute. Today, we've got the Carabao Cup second round, and we've also got a home match against former Premier League side, Huddersfield Town. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 2 of season 6 of the Journeyman with Fleetwood Town. And today we have um, two matches, one in the Carabao Cup against Barnsley and then we're playing Huddersfield. As I mentioned before, hopefully you had a wonderful Christmas yesterday. Hopefully you're enjoying Boxing Day as well. We always have a, have a lovely Boxing Day uh, where I am, so hopefully... Uh, you've enjoyed the sales and anything that you, you tend to do over the Christmas period. This will be continuing every single day, touch wood, um, for the rest of the year. <laughs> but, um, you know, in, in particular, over the next few days, I'm still pre-recording all these episodes so that you guys can enjoy it over the festive period. Anyway, let's have a look at the last few matches since the last episode, which was, of course, the opening two matches, Wolves and Grimsby. Well, we drew 1-1 against Bolton. It was a, a decent performance from us uh, here, but um, they took the lead quite early, but Tim Chow scored late, uh, later on, and, and we managed to, to get a point out of that. We then beat Derby County 2-1. Coming from behind, Paul Glatzel and Britta Belonga on the score sheet there. And then we drew 1-1 against Coventry City. Daniel Sturridge getting a late equaliser there. Meaning that we are currently in fifth in the um, Skybet Championship. We're two points off automatic promotion, four points off uh, the title, and seven points clear currently of relegation, which is all that we're really concerned about this season. That's all that the board expect is to avoid relegation. Let's have a look at the last uh, couple of signings that we've made. Um, I think, yeah, we've seen up to Tyrus Campbell. Uh, Neil Dejoy, what's his name? Dejathon, Dejathin, <laughs> has come in on loan from Arsenal. He's had a good start for us at centre-back. We needed some uh, protection. Neil Malone was brought in by the assistant manager on loan, but I've moved him down to the under-23s. I don't really think he's good enough at this level just yet, but he's there if we need some cover. Uh, Mark Senior was brought in by him as well as a, as a right midfielder. He looks more like it. Uh, I had a couple of good years in League One, um, and hopefully... He'll be, he'll be quite good if we bring him in. And, as I mentioned in the last episode, I did go and buy Jay Rodriguez, who is 33 years old. Um, he's pretty good, to be honest with you. He had a poor first game, but I'm confident that he can, that he can do all right. Um, shall we have a look at the team for today, then? Uh, for the Carabao Cup, so I've put in a few changes in there. Recently, I've, I've also swapped around Grant Ward and Matthew Virtue, uh, and it seems to be working a little bit better. So Joe, Joe Bursick will start in goal. We've got Virtue, Dejithon, uh, Eastham and Taylor in defence. We've, we've got some very noisy police cars outside. We've got Ward on the right-hand side. Cash and Chow in the middle with Rodriguez starting left. With Jack Marriott, who makes his first start of the season. And Daniel Sturridge up top. Mainly because Paul Glatzel is going to be out for about three weeks with an injury, which is a shame. But... Um, that's the way it goes, unfortunately. Sometimes you get injuries, and that's why I'm glad we've got so much depth going forward. We just need to get some more depth going back um, to make sure that we can get through this season. So, we're playing Barnsley. Barnsley are in the championship. It is going to be quite difficult, I think, in this uh, in this match. But hopefully we'll get uh, have a look at a couple of uh, newer players like Rodriguez and obviously... Um, Jack Marriott as well, and if they perform today, then we know that they can cut it against championship sides. So that's what we're looking for today. Just a little bit of progress. I'm not expecting to necessarily go through. Um, I'd love to, but I'm not expecting to. So um, we'd be quite happy with just a, a solid performance today. And we certainly seem to have got off to the, the better start looking at the stats, but uh, you know, 
wiser men than me have, have uh, not trusted stats before. So, yeah. But um, hopefully you guys are good and enjoying the series. If you are, make sure you do hit that like button down below. It, it does help out the channel so much in terms of uh, YouTube promoting it and it getting saw by new people and, and more people enjoying this series is better. And Jack Marriott, whoo, whoo, that was very close, but that was promising. That was a promising little move and Jack Marriott with a with a quite feisty shot, to be honest with you. Um, unlucky not to find the back of the net. But uh, it's been a positive first half. We certainly look to have the better of Barnsley, but we won't be naive enough to to think that's going to be easy in the second half. Daniel Sturridge and Jay Rodriguez not having the best of games. Uh, it might be worth actually moving Rodriguez up front and bringing on Nathaniel Cooper. Um, Rodriguez is rubbish in all of those positions. How odd. Anyway, we'll keep him as a poacher and we'll see how he does. Uh, Daniel Sturridge not having the best of days, so... I'll take him off. And that's what I've noticed about uh, Daniel Sturridge. He's, he's either brilliant or he's rubbish. There's no sort of in-between for him. So, uh, Grant Ward is injured. That's a, that's a big blow. But luckily we have that, that guy. He's not on the bench today, but um, Rodriguez can actually play there. We can put Rodriguez on the right-hand side. He's getting shifted about a lot today. And um, we'll put Tyrus William... Uh, I keep calling them Williamson, Tyrus Campbell up front. Here's Rodriguez, now to Chow. Can Chow get it forward? He certainly can to Campbell. Here's Cash now. Can he get it forward? Rodriguez, now to Marriott. Marriott, now to Cash, to Chow. Mm. It was a good ball, but Tyrus Campbell just wasn't aware that it was there. Here's Taylor, that's forward. Mm. Here's Norton. Here's Cash. Come on. Rodriguez now pushing down this right hand side. Oh, that's brilliant. James Rodriguez. What was that? He did so well there. He did so, so well to get past all the defenders. All that was needed was a cross, and now we're 1 0 behind. Oh. How did Rod. Why did Rodriguez shoot? Why didn't he just keep going, cross it in? There was a couple of people waiting there. It would have been 1-0 to us instead. They've gone down the other end. They've scored. It's 1-0. And we can be very, very disappointed with that. Let's uh, move to the good old attack uh, <laughs> uh, thing, which I seem to be doing every single match, to be honest with you, which kind of says something, doesn't it? Um, uh, we've only got one substitution left. I think maybe bring a Somba Longer on uh, for Jack Marriott. And just hope that Marriott will be... It'll come good in the end. Hmm. 90 minutes gone. Uh, not a 90 minute. 80 minutes gone. Let's demand some more. Gonna go fluid. What else can we do? Come on. <clears throat> Davies gets it away header down Easton oh that was bad that was bad we haven't quite gelled yet and I think that's where the, the problem lies that's forward it should have been 2-0 it really should have been 2-0 here's Bursic gets it away forward to Campbell not good enough McBur McBurney Easton with a terrific tackle there he has Chow can he get it forward? What is Campbell doing? Campbell's rubbish. <laughs> Here's Cooper. In, in the middle, it's a somber longer. Cash, Rodriguez, don't shoot. Cooper puts it in the back of the net. It's one all. James Rodriguez with the assist. He's looked quite good on that right-hand side, to be honest with you. Apart from that silly shot before. Um, a somber longer unlucky there. Cash. Linking the play in a lovely pass along the floor from Rodriguez. And it's now one all. We're in the ascendancy. Can we get a winner before 90 minutes? Here's Easton. Now to Taylor. Chow. Cash. Asomba Longa. Here's Campbell. Off the post. Francis away. Here's Rodriguez. Oh, it's a free kick. I thought it was a penalty. This Oh, look how close that was to being a penalty. Cooper into the middle. It's Easton. It's in. 
Oh, he's given them a free kick. That was so close to us going through there. And we're going to have extra time now, which isn't great because there's a lot of fixture congestion at this part of the season. But luckily, after today's episode, we uh, we have a little bit of a break. Um, come on, boys. Let's dig in and, and try and do this. Taylor, now to Cooper. <clears throat> Cash. Come on. Ciao. Ciao. Hmm. just can't believe how close that was to being a penalty and then we had it in the back of the net here's Cooper again with a free kick it's away by Norton Taylor comes forward here's Campbell now no that's bad Eastham now to Cash now to Somblonga Campbell hits a post oh what a tackle by James that was that was fantastic ah oh, dear ciao Nope. Here's Rodriguez. Eastham. Oh. Half time and extra time. I can't believe this. It's going to go to penalties, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to go to penalties. Unless we can get a, a late winner here. Here's Cash. Mm. <sighs> Ten minutes to go. Come on, boys. Davies gets it away. Eastham. Oh no, it's O'Hara. Now to McBurn. Good save by Bursic. Get it away. Boot it, son. He boots it. Oh, here's a Sombolonga. This could be a chance here. A Sombolonga. Get it to Rodriguez. There we go. Disappointing again, though. Bad decision making. And, and it's led to oh, a great save from Bursic. Keeping us in it. We have been the better team. I think we deserve to win this. It would be a shame to go out. James into the middle. It's Ostuma. Hey. Oh. Goodness me. We didn't deserve that. Definitely didn't. Yeah, it was a great shot. And, yeah, a bit of a keeper mistake there, I'm afraid. But I think that's it. I don't think we've got anything else to give. Here's Norton. James. Oztuma. That's for to O'Hare. We've got 20 seconds to try and get something here. Bursic. Boot it, son. Ah, that's it. That's it, boys. We're out of the Carabao Cup, unfortunately. It's going to be full time. And we are indeed out. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest with you. But hopefully... Hopefully it won't matter too much. With we got through the second round, it wasn't too bad, um, and hopefully now we can uh, concentrate on the league and get a good victory against Huddersfield. Right, guys, quite a few changes for this Huddersfield Town match. Uh, we've swapped. Um, no, we haven't. Have we? I don't know. No, we haven't. <laughs> we haven't swapped them two back round. But we've brought Alan and May into the midfield, see how they work together. Cooper back on to the left-hand side in a Sombolonga. And Daniel Sturridge will partner each other up front. So, yeah. Um, quite quite difficult to sort of realise who works with who. Uh, we've put in an offer for Casper um, Smeichel, which was turned down. We've also put in an offer for Duriqua. Um, as a as a backup, right back, um, and I think that that'll work well. I think we do need a, a need a right back, a specialist right back to come in um, when Niran Old isn't here. So we definitely uh, think that that'll be a good sign. Yes, Cooper in the middle, but nothing happened then there. Uh, funnily enough, if we win this game, we could actually go into automatic promotion spots, which is. Pretty crazy, to be honest with you. Here's Jones. Ugh, that was awful. That was really awful. <sighs> it was just a bit of a comedy of errors, really, wasn't it? Johnson got the ball forward, Ince, and then Jones. and I don't know what the keeper's doing. <laughs> that was just awful. And it's nil-nil at the moment. But uh, Sorry. 
Um, it's 1-0 at the moment, but we haven't actually done anything just yet, which is a little bit worrying. I mean, Huddersfield are one of the better teams in the division, so we can't be expecting to go there and, and beat them. But at least be a bit competitive, please. Uh, we're at, well, we'll see what happens in this highlight, but um, I kind of want to go attacking and, and really take the game to them. Here's Tau. Into the middle. It's 2-0. Right. There's no point uh, counter-attacking anymore, in my opinion. I think we're just going to go for the, the usual tactic. Uh, but 2-0 down within 20 minutes. Not good. Not a good start. Tau into the middle. It's away. Here's McGregor now. Come on. Lau. Oh, here's Virtue. Ward gets that forward to Asombolonga. That's a brilliant ball. Asombolonga on it. Can he get into the middle? He can. And Sturridge and Cooper hits a post. I can't believe Sturridge didn't score, to be honest. Uh, and Cooper was probably surprised that he didn't. And we ended up with that. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in just a second. I've gone to answer a call. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, just a, a quick Skype call with the missus. Um, yeah. 2-0 uh, down. Really not going well, is it? That's been a little bit of a, a, a downer this episode. But here's a Sombolonga. He gets a forward award. Can we get back into it? Ward. It's Storage who puts it in the back of the net. 2-1. That is what we're talking about. In off the underside of the bar, apparently. But that's already the third goal of the season for Daniel Sturridge. And... It's not bad for a man that, that's barely played in the last few years, but uh, he puts it in. It's 2-1. We're back in it just before half-time, which is the perfect time to do it. Uh, and hopefully we can come back in the second half. Cooper's not had a good game, has he? He really hasn't made the step up the way I expected him to. He was sensational last season and was struggling on that left-hand side of the pitch because Rodriguez hasn't really done anything since coming in. Um, Balassi was rubbish as we as we know um, so it is going to be difficult but I think we are going to give uh, Yannick Balassi another shot at it um, oh, defensively we're just shocking at the moment and it's it's quite sad <laughs> quite sad Dejithin now to Bursic gets it away but to nobody just we haven't we haven't quite gelled yet, and I, I appreciate it is gonna take a bit of time. And this would be our first league defeat of the season, so I'm not saying we've we've got off to a bad start. Far from it, but certain areas of the pitch we're struggling a little bit, and I think that's something that we need to address. Here's Alan. Now a virtue, a Sombolonga, it's away. Dejifin. Now to May. That's um, that was a good chance. Eastham now to Balassi. May. It's just not good enough. Not good enough. Taylor. Balassi. May. Oh, just keep losing it. And they're going to score here. Oh, they've hit the post. That could be a turning point in this match because that was a guilt edge chance. Right, 65 minutes gone. Tyrus William... Oh, I d Why do I keep calling them Williamson? It's really frustrating. Jay Rodriguez is going to go up top. Um, I'm going to bring Matty Cash on as well. Put him on as uh, an attacking player maker. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's do this. Twenty minutes to go. Demand more. Just doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Oh, we can't do any more of that. <laughs> Reach. Carnu. Johnson. Carnu. Oh, it's away by Eastham. Now Law. McGregor. Tackle him for goodness sake, McGregor. Taylor away. Here's Sturridge now. Gets it forward to Jay Rodriguez. Oh. That's the second time this episode he's done that. That's really frustrating. McGregor, Carnu. 
Eastham now. Boot it. That's it. Yannick Balassi on the ball now. Prove yourself, son. Oh. Why are they shooting? <laughs> yeah, you know, we've had a good start of the season. We're in the top ten. But certain things are really bugging me about this team. And I don't know why they're doing it. Um, you know, we have made quite a few signings and they haven't played a lot of football in recent years so I'm hoping that's what it is and they're going to come good in the end but we have lost our first game of the season and it's a shame but hopefully it'll be the the kick up the backside that we need um, it definitely wasn't the best performance there and we want to we want to come back after that and and hopefully we, we will do but it was a great uh, great performance the first few matches of the season uh, to be in the top 10 after six matches I think is uh, is a really really good achievement we've still got a couple of days in the transfer window where we'll probably look to sign uh, a couple of more players just to strengthen the side a little bit um, no other reason of course <laughs> not just because I like spending money um, and we'll make sure that we leave some some budget over for for January um, to make some signings that we'll inevitably need to make. Um, but overall, a very good start of the season, and I think I think we'll be quite proud of ourselves. Huddersfield are a, a former Premier League team that were always going to be tough to beat, uh, and we got a goal against them. Daniel Sturridge is looking like a good signing. Um, some of the signings a bit more questionable, but uh, that's just going to be. A time will tell sort of thing and, and hopefully we can come back in the next episode and be a little bit more positive for you um, before that though we shall see when we are going to come back I'm really sorry that this saving game takes so long to to do I don't really know why it's taking so long now um, more than any other time but it's what happens isn't it <laughs> it's what happens and I'm not going to edit it out because I'm just awful and forget to do these things so yeah here we go when are we going to come back that is a question uh, oh look at this four away games in a row that's ridiculous do we get four home games in a row later on we don't it's daylight robbery um, oh that's that's a tough spell um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back for the Birmingham and Sheffield Wednesday games in the next match and hopefully punch a hole in some of those away games and, and things will go well. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a big fat like down below. It really does mean a lot for me. really does help out the channel as well. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.